The following content contains spoilers, so please be advised. You can leave now. Or stay, because I will spoil the shit out of this. I'm telling you, I will spoil it. We are talking Argyle. I hope I'm saying that right. The whole premise, the whole plot is there's this, or well, at first glance, at first pretense, the whole plot is you know, this author who writes um, espionage, spy movies, somehow predicts the future. Whatever she writes somehow comes true. That's the first glance thing. And everybody's like, wow, this is really good. And then we watch later on and it's not the case. Now, of course, uh, Bryce Dallas Howard plays uh, two characters or two sort of has two names in the damn thing. She plays as Rachel Kyle and uh, Ellie Conward. Now, the whole Argyle character is based off Rachel Kyle Argyle. I don't know if you get it. Anyway, and we later find out that's not the case. She was an international spy who had a memory issue. And the people, the, this division thing sort of took her in and brainwashed her, made her think she was something that she was not, which is, you know, apparently she was a double agent. I'm confused as fuck after watching that, but not really confused, confused. Okay, there's a few annoying factors I stumbled upon while watching this. Now, when I first saw Henry Cavill and John Cena, I was like, God damn, this finna be lit. And boy, was I mistaken. Like, what's with Henry's stupid hairstyle in this damn film? He's out here looking like a Russian boxer in the 80s. And he's, the uniform this girl, or they made him wear, he does look like a fucking Russian boxer. And don't get me started about his hairstyle again. Like he looks like Dolph, uh, you know, in Universal Soldier. The weird hairstyle. It's weird on a white guy. It's dumb, stupid. And and the suspension. Oh my God, the suspension on that yellow Jeep in Greece. It's in the first few scenes. That's a the car. The suspension on that car is out of this world. That car was drifting. On the roof, fam. Hitting pavement after pavement. And the suspension was perfecto. I'm like, god damn. Even Fast and Furious haven't attempted this level of ridiculousness. And they've been to space with a car. Ridiculous. And another annoying fact is why does every time there's some sort of dance sequence, someone has to put their genitals in somebody's face? It happened three times. I was counting. The first one, Henry puts Dio Lipa's genitals on his face. I saw that. And then the second one, um, Sam Rockwell puts uh, Bryce uh, Dallas uh, Howard's genitals on his face. And then the third time, Samuel, Samuel Rockwell puts his genitals uh, uh, on Bryce. His face three times. Genitalia on the face. And they're doing this little weird dance. I don't know what's going on. It's weird. Weird as fuck. And, 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 and whoever did the stunt work on Bryce's performance, I mean, the editing, horrible. Like, especially the scenes where she was skating on oil. Now, I'm no expert, but there's no way. That's a military magnum boot she was wearing. I saw that. There is no way you could stick a knife under that boot and skate on it. No fucking way in hell. For one, the heels. Or the, 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 the yeah, the, 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 is that a heel? The heel is the back, right? The sole. Yeah, the sole of the damn shoe ain't that hard. It, it, it's rubbery. So it's not gonna fucking work. But whatever, it's a Hollywood film. No one cares what I think. No one cares. And finally, this is my final opinion on this thing. Like, word on the street is this film is some sort of extension, arm extension. Uh, it's just rumors because of certain things people saw. Like there's a, that, that cottage where it, it's all the same cottage, the same building 
it's in Kingsman. Now, th that could be true. That could be a mere coincidence. Or the, some of the people that actually worked in the Kingsman working on this shit. But there's no way this is part of the Kingsman franchise. I call bullshit on this. Like, for one, Samuel L. Jackson's character, Alfie, whatever he's called, he played a villainous billionaire in the first Kingsman. Where he put SIM cards in people's phones and, and made them try to kill everything. I remember that film. And he had a lip thing. He was talking all weird and shit in that. And he was a billionaire. And here, he's a good guy. He's a former CIA director or something. So, it, it, it just can't be. And he was British on that one. But hey, he was a spy who was taken on a roll. Either way, he died in the end. Unless this is some sort of uh, prequel and um, I'm losing my mind. And of course, Sophia Butella, uh, who plays the Keeper of Secrets in this film, also played a role in the first Kingsman. And in that film, she was uh, she didn't have legs. She had blade-like legs. She was looking like Oscar Pistorius with, with them blade legs. And she was killing everybody with them legs. She was in that one too. And she died in the end too. So there's no way she's in that. I refuse to believe. I refuse to believe these films have some sort of relation. Un unless they actually do have some sort of relation and it's some fucked up way they did it. It'd be fucked up. Very fucked up. Anyway, uh, I talked about star-studded performance. This film had a lot of people. Like Bryce Dallas Howard, who plays the lead actors. Um... Sam Rockwell, Samuel Jackson, John Cena, Dua Lipa, gracious the stage, Harry Cavill, and of course Sophia Butella, if I'm, if I'm reading that right. And that's just some of the actors that showed up on this thing. God damn. I wonder how much it cost. I should look that up, but I won't. And all that money and all these actors in the film is garbage. Not a god. They really tried to make a film that was good, but I feel like they did a wrong casting with Bryce Dallas, whatever her damn name is. She didn't fit the plot. But I will guarantee this: Bryce is thick as fuck, though. For a white girl, she's really thick, and the tits on her. Oh my god, I like to suck on those. But that's not important. I feel like they did. She did. She doesn't look like she's the type to do all those fighting sequences. And there's the final scene where she was supposed to be choking this this uh, uh, Wyatt fella she was acting, who's played by Sam Rockwell. The choking, the fight coordination was just a little off. And I get it. She's supposed to be hesitant because she's um, you know, brainwashed and whatnot. But it just didn't have that thing. So would I recommend you to watch this? If you have time, go ahead. And I understand they're going to make three or four of these. Oh my god. This is rubbish. You know, the first Kingman was a really good film. And then they made a couple more rubbish ones. And this one is not even that great. And then there's this scene where Henry Cavill shows up towards the end of the film. And she's like, and he's like, I, I don't have any questions, but do you have any questions for me? Because the character this uh, Rachel or Ellie Conwell was using for the whole book showed up in real life. And then there's the post credit scene where some prick announces himself as Audrey Argyle. I don't even know what the hell's going on with this damn thing. Hey, but I'm telling you, there's no way that they're related. They can't be, can they? Who knows? Anyway, uh, that's my review of Argyle. All I did was complain. A lot. I don't know if that's helpful to anyone watching. But, go watch it. Go enjoy it. I complained a lot. Like, a lot. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.